Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to Minecraft Survival. Well, last time we built the second of three layers of our automatic sugarcane farm. And yes, this one was, oh wow, how'd you get up there, buddy? Um, this one was, ooh, one of them actually just harvested. Check this out, guys. Um, I just built the third line, um, and well, I built it a while ago, but check this out. We got a little bit of sugarcane in... I think this one's actually filling up. Oh, it must have been this front one that actually harvested. Check this out. Boom. 47. So, yeah, all of these are working. I actually made the front one in, uh, you know, transparent. That way we can actually see it happening. It's actually easier. Actually, wait a minute. Ooh, I can actually walk into here. Check this out. So, this is um, the third layer of the sugar farm. It is working perfectly. And I, I, I didn't uh, investigate how to, like, collect these automatically. Um, basically, what I was thinking about doing was some sort of hopper out of the bottom of the barrel and then a... Um, Maybe like a like a hopper minecart that connects all three and then goes uphill and dumps it. But this works just fine for me. I, I'm, I think I'm pretty pleased with that. But eventually, maybe one day, I'll want to update it. But yeah, so the sugar farm is um, working perfectly. And I liked leaving all the circuitry open to the, to the environment just because now I can actually see what's happening if anything actually goes wrong. But yes, yeah, so that is done. Now let's go check out the sheep. Sheep farm. Sheep farm? Is that a, sh is that a sheep farm? Um... Whatever. Wool. Yeah, we're mass producing wool. And, um, yeah, he's sitting in there. He's naked. He is happy. Yes, and I've got some wool in there, too. Very, oop, oop, oop. It just worked. It just worked. And, yes, it went from 10 to 12. I don't know if you guys were quick enough to see that, but, yes. So, there we go. That is the wool farm. And so, today, we're actually going to be building another one of these. I have one observer, but I do need another one of these babies. So, let's just quickly... Just save a little bit of time. Let's bounce over to the um, chest and see if I've... I've got two. Okay. Dispensers. Now, one thing I do need in there is a bow. And I do believe... Ooh, I do. I do. I do have a bow. Nice. And I still got all this stuff from last time. Let's just dump all this stuff in there. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to need. I know I'm not going to need rotten flesh. Let's go ahead and put that away. And gravel. I know I'm not going to need gravel. Uh, just kind of make a little bit of room in my inventory for now. I don't need a piston for that, so I'm going to put that away, but I'm going to hold on to the rest just to be safe, okay? So, uh, well, you know what? It's nighttime. Let's go ahead and sleep right quick. You know what? Nah, who cares? If I get attacked by anything, it'll be fun. All right, so guys, this is a wool farm. It's actually much more simple than the sugar farm, uh, basically because you can only do one at a time. You can't like mass produce them in big long lines. You have to make them, but you can actually connect them here. So I'm going to actually put another sheep right here. So here's the plan. Here is how it has to be done. I'm going to take this baby out, take this baby out, take this baby out. Basically, this is the block that the sheep will be standing on. And it has to change in order to get the observer to observe so we're gonna put that right in there and let's just double check and make sure that that's right yep that is right cool cool put that in there next um and i'm gonna double check yep yep so the next thing will be we're gonna put the dispenser facing that way okay i actually have to be facing the opposite direction that makes perfect sense just kidding it doesn't but okay uh there's the dispenser there uh diamond shovel there you put some redstone there and that pretty much does it for your machine um the next step will be to put some shears in there and i didn't bring any shears but that's fine and then the next step will be to get some glass and to uh to basically glass off this entire spot oh come on oh i gotta there we go so now the sheep has to go into here but i want to make sure that it is oh i should have used dirt for that uh but i should have i gotta make sure that it is first a blue sheep okay so i'm gonna actually dye one of these sheep blue you are the chosen one you look like you're wearing a hood you're cute i like it okay so now oh i don't have any wheat dang it i gotta go grab a piece of wheat so i can lure the sheep in and um you know we can bring him in and then that's it. It really is that simple, guys. Um, I, I did not... I, I kind of built it quickly because, I don't know, last time I built the sugar farm, it really took the entire episode, and that wasn't the plan. So my bad. Hold on. Q. There we go. I throw away the seeds now. I've got way too many wheat seeds. But, yeah, so that is a wool, a wool farm. It's going to go on the right. And since you are by yourself... Oh, blue sheep, why are you being so... 
Terrible. Okay, I've got some cobblestone. I'm actually gonna block off the blue sheep so that I only get the blue sheep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just do like this and like this. There you go. What's up, blue sheep? How you doing? You wanna go for a ride? You wanna you wanna come on? I think that's what you want. You do. You do want that. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come on. Yes. Good. Good sheep. Come on. There we go. And then he's gotta come up here. Oh, crap. <laughs> I fell in. Okay, good thing I am a human and I have opposable thumbs or whatever. Alright, so we'll just take that out and get the wheat. And come on, buddy. Come on, little guy. Come on. You know you can do it. Okay, now we gotta push him in. Push him. Stop it. Stop it. Quit being stubborn. Come here. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, you with the face. Come here. Oi, don't fall in yourself, buddy. All right, let's go. Come on. Sometimes the sheep don't want to cooperate very well. Come on, buddy. Come on. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just move this way. Move this way. Um, what can I do here? I can put in a block and I can back up. Okay, come here. Come here, sheepy. Come here. Dang it. Come here, sheepy. Oh, God. dang it. You went the wrong direction. Don't fall in with the other sheep. That would be bad. Okay, yeah. Come this way. Come on. Come on, little sheepy. Come, just fall in. I know it's tight. I know it's a scary place, but you can do it. I believe in you. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who is close? Who is close? Okay. This is like the hardest part of the entire thing is trying to get them to go in there. Um. Yeah. Okay. Boom. And go, 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 buddy. Go. Come on. Oh, come on. That's the hardest part. This is the worst part. Go, go. Get, get in there. Get in there. St don't walk away from me, sir. I'm talking to you. Hey, pay attention to me. I have the food. Come here. Come on. Come on, shorty. Oh, oh, I fell down. Dang it. So yeah, this is when I got that one in there, it went in super easily. And then this one is just being rebellious. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, come on. Okay, come here. Come here, little guy. Come on. Yeah, you want it. You know you want it. Here, come over here. Yes! Okay, that's it. That's it right there. Go! 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 <laughs> oh! Okay, guys, I'll be right back once I finally get it in there. Ah. Get in there, sheep! Come on! Come on! Get in there, you stupid sheep! Oh, this is the worst. Okay, here, here's what we're gonna do. Um, I've decided I'm gonna try something else, because this one... This one's a stubborn one, okay? Um... So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna lead him in here, and I'm gonna block him off. Okay, I, I I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna try my best to make it work though. You okay? You cool? You cool with this plan? Good. Come here, you jerk. Come on. Come on. Get down. Okay, now get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Good. And uh uh uh. Shit. Come on. Yes. Okay. No, no, don't go. Ah. Oh, I'm so clumsy. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You follow the leader. Good. Okay, now get in there. Get flipping in there. Go. Don't. D what? How did you do that? Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go through as much glass as I flip and need to. Come here, you jerk. I've got a plan. I just need to be less clumsy. Come here. Come here. Yes? Yes? Come on. Good sheep. Yes, good sheep. And boom. Oh, go, 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 go. Get, get, get over. Get. No! Gah! This is the worst. <sighs> okay, I've got one more plan. I've got one more flipping plan, and this one's gonna work. I'm gonna make, like, a shoot. And I'm gonna bring him in. And then he'll have less room to uh, to escape. You you get over here, stupid blue sheep. You're not worth the effort anymore, I've decided. But now, this is a pride issue. Come on. Come on, get in here. Yes. Good sheep. Yes, good sheep. Okay. Good sheep. Yes. Okay. And then, don't, you freaking... I can't believe you're the, you're the smartest dumb sheep I've ever met. Okay. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. 
This is the most frustrating thing ever. It's because they, they're like the perfect size. That's the problem. Come on. Yes, shift click. And let's do this. Let's do the, no, 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 come over here. Come over here, come here. Stupid sheep. Yeah, 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 come over here. Right here, right here, right here. Yes. Ugh. You're killing me, sheep. You're killing me. Right here. Walk into the chute. Walk into the chute. Right here. What? <laughs> this... <laughs> this stupid sheep is the smartest sheep I've ever met in my life. Oh, man. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Yeah, you gotta be nice to it. Don't. Don't. Yes. Yes, good. Good sheep. Now, just step up just a little bit. Just a... Ugh. Yes, I got it. Okay, so I got it in one little block. So, or two blocks. I, I created a chute to kind of like trap it in. Because for some reason, this blue sheep was just not behaving at all. And now, oh, dang it. Now I need to, <laughs> oh, it doesn't fit. <laughs> dang it, man. Get, get over there. Get over there. No. Okay, you get over there. Yeah, get over there. And then, oh, we got it. Guys, we got it. Finally. Oh, that took forever. But it was so worth it. Oh, wait. I just almost ruined it. That was... Wait. No, it's blocked up. It's there. Okay, we're good. My goodness. That was such... That was such a pain. Such a pain. But so worth it. Because now, guys, we're going to have unlimited flipping blue stuff. Alright? And it's going to be amazing. So now we have one more thing we have to do. And that is we have to dig down. And we actually have to connect the hopper... Oh, that took forever. Uh, <laughs> connect the hopper to all the things. So let's actually just get down in there. All right. And uh, this is going to be where the deal goes. And of course, we have to have... I'm just going to look at how this is built once again. Yeah, so we actually have to have a minecart and a hopper on some rail. And then a hopper. And that's going to have to go directly above where the sheep is. So let's just get right underneath. I'm going to just dig down a little bit. So uh, the sheep is right under there so this is where the uh do i have a chest an actual chest under there or a barrel i do I actually have a chest okay so let's put down a chest do i not have any chests i have no chests i used them all okay well i guess i can fortunately i've got a crafting table right chia and i can throw it down let's create or let's you know put together a chest there we go very good I'm gonna put that chest. Remember, this is the not this one, this one. That's the block. So that means that the hopper will go here. That means the chest will go here. Let me just confirm that by the way, this other one looks over here. Hold on. Yes. Okay, so the chest goes here. Everything has to be put in the right spot or else it just doesn't work. Okay, it just doesn't. So we're gonna chop all this stuff out of here so we can work. Very good. Okay, and then I have to put down a hopper right there. No, that wasn't what I wanted. Right there. There we go. And this, this hop, that hopper is now connected. Now we're going to get some rail and slap it down right on top. And then lastly, we're going to get a minecart and a hopper and put them together right there. So there we go. That, my friends, that is the collection system for the, uh, for the sheep. And let's just double check and make sure everything looks the same. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. And blah, blah, blah. Yes, perfect. Okay, so everything is now set up. So the last thing we have to do is get some shears. And unfortunately, I've got some iron right there. Make some shears. And then we have to prime the system. And the way you prime the system is you have to shear the sheep. Bam. And the blue wool goes down under there. Check it. And boom, it is now in the chest. And then you put the shears in there. And boom, you're done. So the only thing you have to do now is pay attention to the... Uh, pay attention to the uh, dispenser. Let's just get on the other side so I can see it. And make sure that the shears, you can like load it up full of shears, but just gotta look and make sure that you don't run out of shears because the shears do lose durability over time. So now the question, actually the question that I have is will this sheep grow blue wool? I think it will. I just, I've never, ooh, 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 there it went. We just saw it happen. Yes. And there it is. And somehow I actually caught it. How did I catch it? 
I don't know. Either way, guys, that was a successful build. I had to basically trap the uh, sheep in here, but now that we've done that, it is all good to go. That is just glorious, guys. That is just glorious. So I'll go down here. Actually, you know what? I could probably access both of these at the same time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's awesome. And actually, since I actually have more wood, I could technically make bigger chests, but I don't really need to. I mean, that's plenty. I'll take that. And there you go. Awesome. So, guys, that is how to make a... Um, a, uh, a sheep machine and getting the sheep in there literally was like the hardest thing I've ever done in this game so um, so now let me take up my crafting table and we can get up to the next thing for the day and the next thing for the day I don't even know what the next thing for the day is actually the sheep thing didn't take as quite as long as I was expecting I did um, I've heard a lot of people say that it takes like hours to get this stupid sheep to do what you want him to do this is still working this is awesome so the machines are working. We are now mechanizing our farm, which is amazing. I'm actually sitting at 31 levels right now. So you know what? We should do a little bit of enchanting and get our armor to a more respectable, uh, to a more respectable level. So let's actually hop up into here. I'm gonna get rid of, ooh, the noises. Ugh, sorry. Uh, I was, I was taking a nap. All right. So guys, um, let's put away. Let me think. Uh. Put the wool, should the wool go? Yeah, let's put the wool in there, just for fun. Okay, we got wool, we got some andesite that needs to go into here. We got some cobblestone we'll hold on to, and the dirt. Yeah, all this needs to go back in. Boom, boom, put that in. Um, flint needs to go in here. Actually, you know what, the wool probably should go, because these, these are kind of like machines and stuff. Wool is just a building block, so we'll put the wool in there. Do I have any wool, like white wool? I don't, wow, okay. Well, there's that, I've got, oop, put that bow away. Put the iron away, put the redstone away. I've got an extra torch for some reason sitting in my inventory. There we go. And then lastly, pumpkin! Alright, and why is there a piece of granite that should be over here? Ugh. Put that over there too. Jeez. Everything was all mis discombobulated. I'm gonna put the glass over there too, just for the fun of it. Alright, so guys, that should be the inventory. Ooh, a lever. A lever back right there. Bam. Okay, and I've got some pumpkin, I've got some melon, I've got some potatoes, I've got some carrots. We should do some trading. Let's get some sugar cane. Everything is set up now. Um, I don't need anything. I've got some melon slices. Yeah, that should be all. I've got a ton of paper. I've been making crazy amounts of paper with the, the machine that I've got out there. Let's grab the... Okay, I can't, can't grab anything. Let's merge all of this sugar cane together into more paper there we go actually wow I ran out of space oh geez so how can I merge my inventory I mean I could make books that's kind of the idea right let's just go go grab the the leather which should be here yep oh wow I got lots of leather awesome and what can I put in here just for the moment I've got extra melon slices I'm not going to use them right now oh I'm holding on to a dispenser Get out of here, sir. All right, there we go. Now we can have a full um, full inventory. So let's build, or let's craft a bunch of books together. That's going to be this. That's going to be this, this, and this. Tons of books. There we go. Very nice. And why do I have a rose bush in my inventory? I mean, how did that get there? Okay, and um, more sugar cane for paper nice so we actually need more leather and i need to put put away this stupid how'd you get there get out of here sir um put that away too and we need more leather actually and then put put away the wheat cool i think that will do it yes let's go harvest up all the stuff and then we're gonna go do some trading all right we're gonna get some uh get some emeralds and get some all kinds of good stuff so, first and foremost, we have more sugar cane. We should, but not a lot, I would think. Yeah, oh wow, we got a full stack of sugar cane. Nearly a full stack here. This is crazy. Automating stuff, the only problem is the sound. I think the sound is kind of annoying, but that's not a big complaint, because once you get far enough away from it, it isn't a big deal. Also, we need to slaughter some cows, get some more leather. What's up, cows? How you doing? Bam, baby! Get down, son! Yeah! By the way, there is a way to automate this process, <laughs> uh, but I, I kind of prefer the manual way in this case. Not that I prefer killing stuff, but it's just like, you know, it's it's a way to use the sword, you know? 
And it actually works as a um, as an experience farm too. Like you can actually um, you get oh wow, there's a lot left. Uh, you can actually use the automated cow farm, but basically you cram as many cows into a one block space as possible, which I believe is 24. And oh wow, I'm not picking up anything. Oops. Um, I'm holding too much junk. Holding too much junk. Um, here. I'm just gonna go put some stuff on the ground here for a second. Let's put down uh, all the potatoes. Potatoes, I'll, I'll come back for you. Don't worry. Don't cry. Don't cry. I'll be back. Okay, let's pick all this stuff up. There we go. Very good. I love having looting on my sword. Look at this, guys. 64 leather and 24 ridiculous amounts. It is just glorious. Okay, so I'll be right back for the potato. I've got to make some books. Actually, there's a crafting table over here, and I've got all my stuff with me. I might as well just use this one. Whew, all right, so kind of um, cashing in on all of the stuff that I've been, you know, I've been uh, farming up lately. It's just awesome. There we go. There is another stack of books, and you know what? Let's just do this number here and get some more. There we go. And oh, oh, wait a minute. My bad. That was weird. I wonder why that happened. There we go. And I've already just used all of my leather. Wow, I'm actually producing more paper than I actually can use. That's crazy. You know, I'm going to go ahead and produce paper with this just for the fun of it. There we go. So everything's now stacked up. Oop, I didn't use all of it. Oops. My bad, man. My bad. There we go. That's everything. Now I'm going to grab my potatoes and let's go cash in at the village. I haven't seen the village in a while. Teleport over here. I think I've gotten all the things that I can grab at this moment. It's lots of raw beef, actually. Let's cook some of this beef. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and cook the rest of it. Take that. Put the rest of it in there. Put my glass away. That's all the raw beef, actually. So that's good. I've got tons of books. Oh, wow. Carrots. I'm going to put away the paper, though. I'm going to keep the paper. I've got more paper in here. Oh, my goodness. More books, too. Crazy. And then put this away, too. Bam. Okay. And then I think that's all the things. Yeah. I think that's all the things. All right. Let's go ahead and quickly, quickly travel to the village. Hello, village. How are y'all doing? Everybody happy? Good. And you have sharpness five. I don't need you necessarily right now. Um, but I do need you because you are my trader for books. Yes. Hello. Hello, book trader. How you doing? Let's just... Oh, Richie. Your name is Richie. I don't want to forget that. Did you give me a discount yet? No. Okay, hold on. I got to remind you that we're friends. Come on, dude. We're friends. You like me. Oh, come on. <laughs> you got too many books, huh? Too many books. I'm just going to keep doing this because I'm pretty confident that he's going to give me a discount and only charge me three books per emerald here just in, you know, pretty soon. It's funny. He keeps like, oh, yeah, good. Good business. Good business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, come on. All right. You know what? Let's just make five. All right. Does that, does that satisfy you? Are we friends again? Yes. Okay, good. Finally. Take all that. Um, <laughs> experience orbs everywhere. Hey, touch your thing or touch, touch the, touch the lectern. Dude. Touch the lectern. There we go. Nope. Touch the lectern. Yes. Come on, get more books, dude. Or, or more emeralds for books. Yes. Perfect. I like it. Take all that and it runs out once again. Actually, you know, I should probably get another one. That one, that one is fortune, right? Let me just remember. Yeah, fortune. So, um, let's see. Are you unbreaking? That's a really good one, actually. 22, though. But I have to level him up by either buying unbreaking or turning in paper, which I've got plenty of paper. I could do it. Level him up. But maybe there's a more valuable, maybe there's a more valuable one out there somewhere. Let's just look real quick. Let's see. Sharpness 5. That is very valuable. Um, wait, you have nothing. You, you have nothing. How is that a possibility? That is super weird. Okay, I think one of our librarians has died, guys. Looting to, yeah, this is looting. Wait a minute. You're a good one. Okay, so I can either spend emeralds in my bookshelves or I could. Interesting. 
I don't want to buy that many looting books. Ugh, oh, I need to level up some more. You're the only one that will do business with me, but you have no more emeralds, you punk. Okay, well, we'll, we'll trade them in here in just a moment. But you, my friend, you want melons. And I've got a whole bunch of melons. Let's go ahead and trade that in. Let's see if you'll give me a deal. Are you going to give me a deal? Come on, deal. Deal or no deal? Deal or no deal? Come on. He forgets, man. He forgets. He's like, yo, I don't think I like you that much, but I guarantee you we're best friends. We spent last Thanksgiving together. There we go. Give me them deals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And pumpkins, actually. I've got um, enough for two more of those. There we go. And then carrots. I can... Actually, you know what? I should probably throw some carrots at some villagers. So we're going to keep... Some of the carrots. I'll, I'll trade you a few carrots, okay? Let's just do that. And let's do this. And we'll do that. There we go. And then um, let's, ooh, let's quickly um, make a group of 12 and another group of 12. And looks like we're going to potentially have some babies. Somebody, somebody take the carrots. We need some babies. Yeah, pick it up. That's what that's for. You're supposed to make babies. Go make babies. Pick up the carrots. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, there you go. Well done. Well done. Okay, and then now you... You need to drop... Oh. That's weird. Um, okay. You need it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Drop 12. Just like... Oh, come on! What are you doing? Oh, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. That's the problem. They don't feel like it because it's getting dark. I get it. I, I mean, you know... I don't really get it, but whatever. <laughs> What's up, Golem? How you doing, sir? Um, I guess, yeah, I feel like we're missing a bunch of villagers. Like, a lot. A lot, a lot of villagers have dead. They've died. They've died to zombies that have spawned. Although they don't spawn anymore. Yes. Unless there was a raid. I don't see any evidence of a raid, though. It's funny, every time I sleep, I start stretching. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, so let's just go have a chat with some librarians. Uh, do you want to give me... Oh, no. Ooh, you're the Silk Touch one. You know what? I will take... Yeah, yeah, Silk Touch. Thank you for that. Yep, so now I have a Silk Touch, and that's going to come in handy later, so thank you very much. Are you Mandy the... You're not. You're unbreaking. That's great, but not... Actually, wait, I need... I need a whole bunch of unbreaking, actually. Wait, I can, uh, ooh, 22? That's ridiculous. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, do you want to trade? Actually, I've pretty much wiped out all of my food. Potato, are you, you know, you're not the right one for potato. Potato man, hello, are you potato man? Yes, you are potato man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take a few of those. Take some of that. You want to give me a deal? No. Didn't think so. Yeah, the potato thing is super inefficient. Yeah, he still doesn't want to. Well, at least you've leveled up a little bit. That's good, right? Oh, and I just took a potato. Ha ha. All right, so you are unbreaking. Um, where is... Where is my book dealer? Did they die in the sleep in the night or something? Because that would be terrible. Oh, nope. Okay, so looting too, but you, haha, you're the one. All right, and you still can't take books? Go look at your lectern, you punk. Go. Yeah. Do as I say. Go look at your lectern. I need to sell you more books. Mandy has mending. Awful deal. Okay, you good now? Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. He looked at it. Yes. <laughs> nice. I'm just going to take as many as he'll let me have. Yeah, there we go. We got, we got a, dang, we got a full stack of emeralds. That is insane. Awesome. And I've already tried everything that I can. So I guess then that will, um, that'll do it for the village. And I've got tons of emeralds. So I feel like, let's go ahead and teleport quickly to the, oh boy. Uh, let's teleport quickly to the, it's, it's, it's delaying. That's weird. Um, to the second village and let's have a chat with the, Librarians. Hey, you have Frost Walker. Nice. 32 is expensive, but that's Max Frox Frost Walker. So I'm going to go ahead and. Dang it! I just used up my book. 
Dang it, you. Um. Ah. Uh, okay, hold on. I don't have any books. I'm gonna have to. You are the one with the mending. You're awesome. Okay, so I've got to go home. I've got to make more books, which means I've got to massacre more more cows. Unfortunately. Hello. Yeah, there we go. We're having a little bit of delay out here, folks. And it is going to be okay. By the way, I'm at 35 levels. Have you guys seen that? That is just nuts. It's awesome. I'm just going to keep the carrots. And the potatoes. And the melons. Good, good. And I'm going to put away the emeralds. Actually, wow. Oh my goodness. I've got... I've got 130 emeralds altogether. 130. That is insane. That is just great. Okay, do I have any... I've got... Oh, I already had Silk Touch. Okay, well now I have two Silk Touches. Fantastic. Efficiency, mending, mending. Bunch of paper. I need more leather, technically. I should probably build that actual, like, leather machine. But the problem is it's not, like, an automated. I still have to go feed the cows, and then I have to... Uh, it's just a process. Uh, so I guess we should... I don't want to cut down too many of them. Yeah, that's, there's plenty. I've, I've got enough. Hey, you. What's up? Hi. Hi. Hello. Why aren't you... There's some delay in the game. It's weird. Alright, get down, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Excellent. How many... Um... I don't need that. How many is that? 17. Oh, wow. That's plenty. Yeah. That'll do. I love having looting on my sword, y'all. It is literally the best. Literally the best. So we're gonna work on our boots today, apparently. So let's hop into here, put the uh, raw beef in there. I'll take that, and this is actually gonna be quicker if I put this in here too. Good, and then we can put the leather, we can put the... Uh, Wow, I still have too much paper. I'm going to be forever in the position where I've got too much paper, which is fine. I mean, I'm not going to complain. It's just weird. Okay, put that in there, and we're good to go. Okay, so I've got all the emeralds. So let's actually quickly eat a steak. Okay, and then let's quickly bounce over to the second village. And again, there's some delay I'm not too sure about. And Aqua Affinity, we already have that. Frost Walker is what I'm interested in right now. You have Frost Walker. What do you have? You have Mending. Okay. You are the one that I'm going to do my business with right now. Let me see. Get some. There you go. Very good. Nice. Cool. So we got Frost Walker. That is an amazing, an amazing thing to have on your boots. And what else do I have over here? What else do I have access to over here? I've got infinity for a bow i should probably just go ahead and buy that i don't know if i've bought it yet so i'm gonna go ahead and buy it now there you go bam i got plenty of emeralds it's all good and then you good sir have efficiency four this one has efficiency three on it so we should probably get a few of those yeah yeah i'm just gonna grab all those i want to max out my pickaxe finally yeah, there you go. And are we friends now? No. Jeez. All right. There we go. So we got the things that we needed. Now let's do a little bit of enchanting. And I just realized I've been recording for 40 minutes. I don't know if the video is going to be that long, but I've been here for that long. Take that steak. Put it in here. I should probably just do it all in one, but I get impatient. There we go. And then lastly, before we actually do any enchanting, I'm going to grab my lapis. I'm going to put the lapis in there. No, I got to get... I gotta get my shoes, and I gotta get my pants, and let's see what we actually can get on here first. Projectile projection, pr protection, unbreaking two, or unbreaking three. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, unbreaking three is max. I'll take that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And fire protection. Interesting. I, I wanted regular protection, but that works. I'm fine with that. Awesome. And then what about the pants? What about the pants? I got plenty of levels. Unbreaking three. Once again... Unbreaking three is the option. Cool. And I get protection four. Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. So next, we need to come over here and we need to, uh, I guess we'll see. Let's put the boots and let's get the, where is it? Frost Walker. Yes. All right. Enchantment costs four. You guys suggested doing that. That doesn't work. 
four. Four. Yeah, it's always four. Okay, there's that. And then actually, I'm gonna go grab the mending right quick because I do want my armor, all of my armor, to also have mending on it. I'm gonna grab two of those. Basically, gonna blast through all of my levels today, which is gonna be hard to watch, but it's okay. And we'll put mending on there. There we are. And you guys suggested switching it. Still three. Okay. There we go. So we got fire protection three, unbreaking, frost walker two, which is cool, and then and then mending. Now, if I look at my notes right quick. I actually have now, where are my notes? My notes, that's reminders. There's my notes. For uh, shoes, you want Feather Falling 4, which we're still working on. Um, Frost Walker 2, which we have. Mending, which we have. Protection 4. I've got Fire Protection 3, so that works. Thorns 3 and Unbreaking 3. So that, uh, we're, we're close, but not quite done with the boots. Next, we have the Diamond Leggings. Protection 4 and Unbreaking 3. For the leggings, I want... Mending, which we're about to put on there. Protection 4, so that's maxed out. That's awesome. Thorns 3 and Unbreaking 3, so we're pretty close to done with the pants. Put those on there. Put the um, mending on there. It's only going to cost 2. Interesting. Alright. Awesome. So that's done. Let me put on my pants. Sorry. Didn't mean to take them off, but there we go. So we got Mending and Aquafinity on the helmet. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Thorns 2, and Mending on the chest plate. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, and Mending on the leggings. And Fire Protection 3, Unbreaking 3, Frost Walker 2, and Mending on the boots. Now the last thing that I want to do today is I want to merge some efficiency books and get an efficiency... Actually, wait, 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 wait. Question. If I do that, I end up with efficiency 4 for 35 levels. Oh my goodness. 35 levels? Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be maxing out efficiency today. Well, okay, so let's just let's just play for a second. Efficiency 4, efficiency 4 for an efficiency 5 book. I've made efficiency 5, so if I put that in there, do I get efficiency 5? I do for only 37. Okay, that's better. So actually having like the max level of book works. So that means that I'll actually be able to, next episode, if I can get to 37 levels, um, I'll actually be able to get efficiency 5 on my pickaxe, and then I believe that is done. The pickaxe will finally be done. Everything else is 100% good to go. So that's awesome efficiency. I've got an extra efficiency, and I've got infinity for a bow, and that reminds me, I think I've got a bow. I do. I have a bow. Awesome. So let's actually grab, let me see, uh, well... Let's just do that. And, ooh, oh, we should probably try this first. Unbreaking, unbreaking, and flame. Ooh, flame would be good. But I need to get to 30 levels first. Oh, my goodness. Um, do I want unbreaking or do I want flame? I would like to have flame, actually. So here's what I'll do, guys. Um, I'm going to have to get a ton of levels off camera or I'll, we'll do them next episode or something. But for now, I think we've done real well for ourselves. I mean... Seriously, major, major progress today. I mean, again, having um, efficiency 5 on our, our pickaxe is going to take 37 levels, which is crazy. But then we'll be done. The pickaxe will be perfect. Uh, let me put that away, actually. I'm actually going to put this away, too. Damn. Oh, oh, and by the way, went strip mining, found a ton of diamond. It has been glorious down in the strip mine. But, um... Oh, I just remembered what I wanted to do in this episode. <laughs> it's a long episode, and I just remembered what it was that I wanted to do. That is hilarious. Let me explain it right quick so that you guys can know what to look forward to next time. All right, so, ooh, block of quartz. I don't need that. All right, everything is good to go. Put that there. Yeah, okay, so my inventory is sorted. So, guys, the... Or is it? The heart of the sea requires nautilus shells to create an item, a special item. That item is pretty special. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make an AFK fish farm, okay? I know there's a lot of people out there that have been begging for me to do it. A lot of people that say it's bad. A lot of people say it's good. It is what it is, whatever. I mean, I'm going to build one specifically so that I can get nautilus shells so that I can finally make use of the heart of the ocean, okay? Or heart of the sea or whatever the heck it's called. So that's my plan for next time, guys. I love the sugar farm. Our regular farm needs to be harvested. We need more cows. I need to work, do some work around the house. And I also need to go out and get tons and tons of levels, which is easiest to do when you're in 
the nether. So, I mean, again, I'll probably do that off camera, but we'll see. We will just have to see. So, I guess, guys, for now, that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. And if you feel like we've made some major progress. The sheep, that's, that's what we did today. Let's go look at the sheep right quick. Oh, by the way, check this out. If you go and look at my mini-map, let me get underneath the eave here. Underneath the eave here. There we go. If you look at my mini-map, um, you can see those purple lines moving up and down. Those are the minecarts that are collecting stuff for the sugarcane farm. That's pretty awesome. I really do like that a lot. Uh, so, neat stuff. But yeah, no, next time we'll be making an AFK fish farm, and um, it's going to be absolutely epic. But let's go look at the sheep real quick and see if we've gotten more of the blue wool. Saw a dot show up on my mini-map, and it looked like something I should care about, but I guess not. Alright, so having a talk with the sheep. And by the way, I've still got... How many sheep do I still have in captivity here? I think I've got two. Yeah, so I want to dye them different colors and probably build more of these things. But I'll do them off camera. So, ooh, 19 blue wool. And... Almost three full stacks now of white wool. So this is awesome. This type of stuff is pretty cool. I, I didn't like the idea of doing it at the beginning, but now that I'm moving up in the world and kind of expanding and making things more epic, you know, it's it's a good thing. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, like the video if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button also if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And by the way, heads up, we got a full mending armor. That's awesome. So big day, big day for us. Um, remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.